Hey guys, Becky here at Five Seed Baker. Welcome back. We made it to part three of our three part painting series. And this week we're going to be painting with color, dust, and food grade alcohol. It's a medium that I like very much and I don't use often enough, so I think I'll start using it more now that I've been reminded how beautiful it is. Again, we'll be painting on light fondant, dark fondant, white ganache, and buttercream so you guys can see the difference amongst those three surfaces. But I'm super excited to have you guys see what it looks like, so let's get right to it. So the setup for this style of painting is really easy. You just grab your color dust, give it its own space, and then put some food grade alcohol near it so you can control how diluted you want your color to be. You only need one brush and a cup of water to rinse off your brush in between colors and then a napkin to blot any excess liquid off. Now when you're mixing these, you can go thin for a lighter color or you can keep it thick and acrylic like for a dark bold color like what you're seeing here. Now, because color dust is a powder and because food grade alcohol dries so quickly, this is drying super, super fast. This doesn't give me a lot of time for blending, so I wouldn't go do an entire flower and then try to blend afterward. I would try to do the blending pretty much right away. But I think the color is beautiful. I also find I'm able to blend on the palette more easily because I know the color that is going to be on the cake. It's true to color because it's color dust and because it's so opaque, it's very obvious the color that it'll be when I put it on the cake. So I don't really need to do as much blending on the cake, I feel like. And it just gives a very different look. It's more of a marker look than anything blended and brush associated. So any other type of painting, I guess. It has more of a pop art look, I think. Now on dark fondant, the color is still going to pop so well. And just like all the other painting on fondant, this is equally as smooth and as easy to apply. I love it so much how it goes on there. And I love that I only need one brush for all of this, so it's super easy to just go back and forth, back and forth, adding different colors. Because it's darker fondant, some of my colors I'll mix with a bit of white to make them a bit brighter. And you can see the color is solid, it's not blotchy, there's none of that happening, so it's, it's just beautiful. Now, if you want the color to be a lot brighter, you could, of course, start off with a white like I did with this leaf petal here. Wait for it to dry and then go over it with the color that you actually want. Or you could just mix it on your palette. Both ways will work just fine because these colors will sit on top of each other. So here my white is just about dry and then I put a green on top and it stands out more than its other leaf. So that's always an option if you don't like how dark it is. Now in white ganache, you would expect because of the food grade alcohol for it to bead up and repel a little bit but it doesn't. Something about the color dust, it just takes it so well 
and I love that I don't have to worry so much about how cold or room temperature the ganache is because it's food grade alcohol and it's not going to set quickly based on temperature. I don't have to worry about that and I can just worry about painting. And the color takes absolutely beautifully. It dries about the same as fondant does, as quickly as it does. And just like with fondant, you'll want to keep it a little more acrylic-like so that you don't have too translucent of a color, unless that's what you're looking for. But it goes on super smooth, super beautiful. Now on buttercream, for the buttercream you do always want to make sure that your buttercream is very cold to the touch. Mine was sitting in the fridge overnight, so it's very cold. Because again, I guess because of the color dust, the colors don't beat up, they don't want to repel even though I'm using food grade alcohol which does have water in it. The color is really pretty on this. Again. I think if the picture is not as beautiful as the rest, that's simply just the user. I need to get better at painting on buttercream, but the color itself, the application, is really easy to apply and the color takes beautifully. I'm not having any problems with beating up, any problems with anything setting too quickly. It's all going on smooth and solid and looks really pretty. Now here goes the white fondant, the dark fondant, ganache, and buttercream. For fondant, I love all the methods of painting. For ganache and buttercream, I definitely love the color dust with food grade alcohol. It's my favorite, but each of them have their ups and downs. So hopefully this gives you a better picture of what you would like to try on your own cakes when it comes to painting. All right, guys, as always, if you had any questions, drop them down in the comments below and I'll make sure to get back to you. If you thought this was helpful and you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. I would super appreciate that. And let me know if you'd like me to do other videos like this where I demo tutorial, different methods, all of that. And if so, what would you like to see? Let me know down below. I would love to hear. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you.